Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is written in C++. So before that, you can uh, note down these information. These information will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. Here my website, app, uh, books and YouTube links are mentioned. So now coming on to the program. Uh, program is to add two complex numbers through returning objects from functions. So in this uh, code, you will be able to understand how we can pass as well as return objects from function. So header file iostream is used. The namespace std is used. Uh, it is predefined. Uh, name of the class is complex. Two attributes r and i uh, are used here. Then in public section, three functions. First is read. Second is print. And third one is sum is declared. So you can notice that return type of function is uh, some function is complex and uh, here uh, one argument will be passed th that is of complex type. So argument type is complex and return type is also complex. It means the argument will be of uh, object type and the return value will be of object type. After completion of class, read function is defined with the help of scope resolution. C in C out, uh, these are easy statements, uh, you can easily understand these. Then print function again C and C out, uh, sorry C out statements are available uh, which will print values of real and imaginary. Then sum function, now this is important. Here first sum uh, is representing return type, then second sorry first complex uh, is re uh, representing return type of the function. Second complex is representing name of class, then sum is name of function and this complex C is receiving values of explicit argument. So here temporary object uh, T uh, has declared here, then T dot R equals to R plus C dot R uh, statement will add real values. Then uh, this statement T dot R equals to I plus C dot I uh, will add uh, values of imaginary uh, attributes. So uh, R or I uh, without dot operator is representing implicit argument. C dot R and C dot I is representing explicit argument. And the result has stored inside temporary object T, which is returned with the help of return keyword. Then main function contains three objects C1, C2, C3. Uh, this is the calling statement C3 equals to C1 dot sum C2. Here C1 is implicit argument, C2 is explicit argument and the result will be stored inside C3 and C3 dot print will uh, print the result on console. So uh, this is the explanation of this program. In this code, some function contains uh, two uh, uh, methods. Uh, it is receiving object as argument and it is returning object as argument. So I am compiling this code now. You can see errors and warnings uh, are zero. Now I am executing this code. So it is asking for real and imaginary value for first complex number. So I have entered two and two, then real and imaginary values for second complex number. I have entered four and four. So you can see some uh, six and six. So uh, answer is correct. It means uh, we can uh, implement uh, the sum function without returning uh, object from function as well as returning object from the function. So you can implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you can understand this concept uh, well. So again you can notice my information, app, website, books and YouTube channel. So uh, these information will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video.